Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Time to Go. Uh, I'm here in the courthouse and uh, Pastor Justin kind of ditched me again this week, but that's okay because I've got two special guests from our congregation, uh, Judges Fisher and Hanson, and we're going to be talking about hungering for justice this week. I was wondering, Judge Hanson, have you ever had to think about hungering for justice? Well, I'm this week's speaker, so yes. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> um, and uh, I've looked at uh, the passage from Matthew 5, 6, uh, which is hunger uh, for righteousness and equated righteousness, although we could, we could define that in so many ways uh, and um, as a, a striving for justice, but broken that down to private morality, a code of conduct we all live by, and public morality, which is, in my mind, um, an awareness of social, social justice. And I've learned that uh, you know the biblical passages are littered with calls to be aware of the poor, the oppressed, uh, the widow, um, not just in Matthew or the social gospels, but throughout the New Testament and Old Testament. Yeah. How about you, Judge Fisher? Well, I'm working exclusively in child protection right now, and I'm noticing that there's not a lot of justice or righteousness for children who, who can't protect themselves and who depend on all of us to protect them. And uh, I also am learning that the impact of the negative things that have happened to children carries, carries with them throughout their lives and impacts decisions that they make as adults. And that we just need to do far better for, in providing justice for children. Well, I thank both of you for all the ways you care for justice in our community, and it's a good reminder that we all should have a hunger for justice for people we care about. Uh, sometimes we don't want to talk about these issues because they're difficult, uh, but hungering for justice is a reminder that God hungers for justice as well, and so that's something we're going to be talking about this week. Uh, but for now, I think that's enough, so I think it's time to go. We hope you have a good week.